Hi YouTube! I'm Taylor. Welcome to Ginger Next Door. Uh, first things first, my hair looks insane because this video is going to be um, a try-on slash review of my new clip-in extensions. So a while back on my Instagram, I posted a survey asking you guys what clip-in extensions you would recommend. Um, I had tape and extensions for almost a year, but the upkeep got really expensive and I just can't afford it right now, which sucks because they're amazing, but I'm hoping that I found a good option to replace those. So I got my tape-ins taken out about a week ago and I miss them already. My hair feels so short. I know it's really not, and I have like longish hair, but compared to my extensions when I was used to having it really long, I'm like, I feel like, I feel like all my hair is gone. So I actually have done clip-in extensions in the past, but the brand that I used to buy no longer makes my color. Rude. Gingers want long hair too, okay? So after asking everybody on Instagram what ones you guys would recommend, a lot of people said the Barefoot Blonde Hair Extensions by Amber Filler Up. I'm sorry, I'm getting over a little cold so I can hear that my voice sounds so weird. Anyway. So the main reason I have an issue with finding clip-in extensions that would work is, like I mentioned before, not a lot of brands make a red that looks like a natural red. Um, a lot of people have more of that, like, fire engine bright orangey red, which is beautiful, but not what grows out of my noggin. <laughs> so the Barefoot Blonde website is awesome because they actually send you five free sample pieces. You just pay for shipping. Um, and then they send you a little thing in the mail that looks like this. Uh, it says, we've got you colored. Um, and then in here... <clears throat> In here is your five little samples. So these come with little clips on them, um, and then you just put them each into your hair and see which one works the best. I picked five different ones. The reason that I chose a couple that were blonde is because with my other extensions, when I first put them in, they were more of a strawberry blonde, very, very similar to my hair color, um, but over time they turned more and more blonde because they probably were blonde hair that had been dyed red. Um, so after time that started to fade, and by the time I got my extensions taken out, they were mostly blonde through the ends, uh, which just kind of gave me more of like an ombre kind of balayage type of look. So that's why I decided to try a couple that were the blonde ones, just to kind of see because I knew that if the reds didn't match, that would also be a good option. So that's something to look into as well. Um, I went with the color Chestnut. So basically, super easy. They have a little tiny clip on here. You pop that onto your head. It doesn't have to look perfect because you're just checking for color. Obviously, you can see where it starts, but as it goes further down into my hair, it blends really nicely. It still is maybe a tiny bit lighter than my natural hair color, but it matched better than the one that was called Autumn, which was more of like a brighter red. So that made me feel a lot more confident in actually pulling the trigger and ordering the hair extensions. Then they came in the mail in this beautiful little box. So they actually, on the uh, Barefoot Blonde website, as you go to order your extensions, they let you choose which kind of box you want to kind of have to keep them in. First thing in here is your little instruction pamphlet, which is super helpful if you've never used clip and extensions. Like I said, I've done this before, so I don't super need this, but they have a lot of good little tips in here if you've never done clip and extensions. Um, the next thing that's in here is a little tester strand. So this is basically the same thing as the ones that I ordered before that were my little samples, but this is a full length one, so you can get a good feel for how long they're actually going to be. Double check that it matches your hair before you open up your big bag with all your hair in it. Then this way, if they don't work, you're still able to return them. As long as you haven't opened this, they let you exchange or return them. Um, so try your sample, then put these in. Also, Barefoot Blonde extensions are 100% um, human Remy hair, which means that you're able to uh, use heat on them, which is great. So to try my little sample piece, I'm just going to lift up this section of my hair. These are also great because they come on a little thing that's super bendy and very, very thin, so you can't even, like, see it, the part that's attached to the clip, which is great. Oh, I'm going to clip that in there. Okay, so there it is. I'm going to go ahead and say, yes, these match just fine. <laughs> uh, I am going to go ahead and put in the full set I'm, I'm happy with. I'm happy with the way it matches. <gasps> Yay, okay, let's be mermaids. So in this video, I'm also going to show you how... Oh, what is happening? <sighs> <sighs> this video, I'm also going to show you how I clip in my extensions um, and how I like to style them with my hair to make them look more natural. Okay, time to open up the big bag. Why am I nervous? This is fine. Look at, look at so much, so much hair. I'm so excited. So you get three little individual clips. These are great for filling in like right at the top of your head if you've got bangs or just over in this little thin spot right at the top of your noggin. Um, you get two of the four inch. So these are great for the top of your head, not quite as high as our individual ones, but you get two of these, one for each side. You get two six inch clips, which are awesome for the very bottom of your head where your hair isn't quite as wide, if that makes sense. And then you get one that is eight inches that will go right around the widest part of your noggin. So obviously first thing you're gonna wanna do is section off your hair. I'm starting right below my ears. 
Okay, so I'm going to start with one of my six inch sections. Just make sure this is right. Okay, yes. Now turn around. You can see that goes from side to side of my hair, which is awesome. This has three clips on it. First thing you're gonna wanna do, obviously, is open up your clips. This is how it attaches to your head. So the thing with the clips, they need something to be able to hold onto. If you just clip them into your hair, they're just going to want to slide and then you're gonna have hair falling out of your head, which is not super cute. So what you can do is either take a really fine tooth comb and give yourself a little zhuzh there. That gives you like a little, little baby rat's nest for your clips to attach to. Doing that all the time to your hair is going to make you have some weird texture down there. So what I'm going to actually do is take one of these little tiny crimpers. Bought a while back because on a photo shoot that I worked on, there was a girl, her name is Shanzi, and she's a freaking hair goddess. She was using this little tiny thing at the roots of people's hair to give you volume. It's amazing and insane, and it does the same thing as ratting, but it doesn't give you that gross rat's nest. I'm going to try using this and see how it works. Um, basically, I'm going to just take a tiny, tiny section, get this as close to my head as possible, and then use this part to clip the thing into. The reason I'm telling you all this now is because I'm going to turn around, and you won't be able to hear me if I'm facing that way. So, here we go. <laughs> I'm also going to do this on the two sides where the other two clips are going to hit my head. So, just take this little baby guy. So you can see, kind of, it creates a little teeny tiny crimp and then that gives something for your hair to stick to. <gasps> Here we go. So I'm gonna take this section, clip the back one in first. I'm thinking pretty hard on these and that crimp is holding them in. Oh, by the way, you can get that crimper on Amazon. They also sell them at Ulta. Okay. <laughs> Yay! Look it, look it, look it. I'm so happy. I guess I'll clip all of them in and then I'll style them. Let's do that. Okay. Alright, I just showed you. Now I'm going to just speed through this really quickly. But first, I must turn on some tunes. Okay, let's be honest. It's not tunes. It's my favorite murder. So since they sent me this little extra one, I might as well find somewhere to stick it. I cannot believe how much hair this is. I'm so stoked. Let me stand up because you can't tell. <gasps> Look it. I'm a mermaid. I think I'm going to just pop this little extra one, which that's really nice because this is like another little full length one. Awesome. So you get a little bonus guy in there. I'm going to just pop this in here uh, to help blend my little somewhat bangs I've got going on. I'm loving these. I... They feel amazing. They don't feel super bulky in there. And these clips lay so flat against your head, you don't have any like weirdness poking out. Like even this one that I put up here that's really close to the top of my hair still isn't peeking through, which is fantastic. Okay, now that they're in my hair, I'm actually just going to go through and brush them out really quick. So there are a couple different types of brushes that you can use around your extensions. Um, they make specific extension brushes that have like little bristle things that are like looped like this. So then they don't pull your hair. Um, I've been really loving using a wet brush. Uh, this is just a different kind of wet brush that they came out with recently. If you're going to brush your extensions while they're in your head, I would recommend starting at the bottom. Right now these are so smooth because I just got them out of the package that they don't really need to be brushed through, but... It helps them to blend with my other hair. And since they're so flat against your head, when you are brushing through them, you're not like at risk for yanking your clips out. You can just brush right over them as needed. I'm so excited. Ah! Seriously, Rapunzel, up in here. I'm so jazzed. Okay, they blend pretty good with my natural hair. Uh, I generally like to wear my extensions curled just because it does help you if you have like a definite line where your extensions end. Um, curling them helps them to blend a little bit better, so that's what I'm going to do next is to curl them. Also, a great thing about clipping extensions, you barely have to wash your actual extensions because you take them out of your head. So at nighttime and stuff, they don't get all weird and slept on and matted, so you don't have to like wash them as often, which is fantastic. I can't stop touching them. Anyways, uh, let's get into the styling. So this part isn't super complicated. I'm just going to tell you what 
products I like to use. I'm just curling them like I normally would curl my hair. Um, but I like to use the Hot Sexy Hair. Uh, this is the, mm, this is called Support Me. It's a 450 degree heat protection spray. Um, you're going to be able to take a lot better care of your extensions and make them last longer the better you take care of them. So using it, <clears throat> so <laughs> using a heat protectant uh, is going to make them last longer and you won't damage them with your curling iron. So to curl my hair today, ooh, 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 ooh. Too many cords, help. Okay, so to curl them, um, I'm using a one and a half inch Hot Tools wand. Um, this one has an extended barrel, which is great for extensions because your hair is so long. Sometimes using the regular one, you like don't have enough room to get all of your hair on there. Does that make sense? So that's what I'm using today. <laughs> like I said, this is not super complicated. You're just gonna curl your hair like you would normally curl your hair. Uh, so I'm just gonna kind of breeze through this really quick. Now that I'm doing this, I wish that I would have um, curled as I went. So, there's a tip for you for next time. <clears throat> it's so much hair. <laughs> I don't know where to put all this. Uh, I just like to spritz it, run my fingers through it a little bit. And I like to curl, I would say, like, what is this, a one inch section? I don't know. Just a, a medium amount. I guess the way that I do curl my hair is a little bit different. I like to start closer to the top and then twist it. And then work my way down, twist again, work my way down, twist again, and so on. Generally, I do leave out like about mm, two inches at the bottom. Uh, depending on how these look with the length, I might end up curling back and recurling. Oh my gosh, they curl like a dream. I'm so happy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love them. I'm so happy. Okay. All right, please enjoy this fast motion of me getting this done. Last things last, uh, oh, hold on. <gasps> look at them, look at them. Okay, last thing, I'm gonna um, just spray this with some Super Hold Finishing Spray from Kenra, this is their volume spray. I like this because it doesn't have an overwhelming smell and it gives a good hold without being crunchy crunch. I'm freaking in love. Last thing that I like to do to style my hair, uh, because right now it's like in all these little pieces of curls and stuff, uh, this also helps to calm it down a little bit. I'm just going to run my brush through it really quickly. And again, starting at the bottoms. I feel like I'm going to start hyperventilating because I'm so excited. <laughs> eee! <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I'm so happy with how these look. I love the color. They feel amazing. Okay, so I just looked on their website so I could make sure to give you correct information. Um, the clip-ins that I got are called the BFB Classic Seamless. This is just their classic one, obviously. Um, they're 21 inches long, um, and I got the color Chestnut. Le These are $214.99. Um, it's free shipping unless you want to do rush shipping. I think the rush shipping is like $10. Um, there are other extension companies that I've seen that charge up to $500 for clip-ins. So these are killer especially for how much um, if you're wondering they are 160 grams which I think is a lot it's a lot to me um, they feel amazing I feel like they blend really well I'm really really happy yay I feel like myself again other than I'm sick but this actually helps me to not feel quite so disgusting today <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, if you are also someone who has clip-in extensions, please give me your favorite tips for styling them and your favorite products to use on them. I hope that you liked this video and found it informative. Uh, please be sure to smash that subscribe button. I think I'm at like 74 subscribers, which is really exciting. Uh, so thank you to everyone who's already subscribed. If you're not already, please do it. Or don't, whatever, it's your choice. All right, I'm gonna go brush my hair for five hours. Goodbye. <laughs>